Hey there guys, it's Kim here from YourSheetGeek.com and I want to bring you or welcome you to this quick little video tutorial to show you how to upload custom fonts into Canva Pro and apply those custom fonts to different designs, um, you know, uh, graphics and all of that kinds of stuff in Canva. So you guys know that I'm a huge proponent of using Canva Pro. Um, this is one of my favorite DIY tools. And so again, I just want to make this video short, quick, and um, to the point. So let's go ahead and jump off into this. So as you can see here, guys, I am logged in to the back end of my Canva Pro account. Um, in case you're um, you know, interested in learning more about Canva Pro and some of the features and things that you can get access to, you can click the link below to um, head over to check it out. Now, just as trade, you know, being transparent, this is an affiliate link. I am an affiliate for Canva um, because this is a, a tool that I use all the time and it's one that I believe in. So, anyways, um, you know, one of the features that you will get access to, guys with Canva Pro is the ability to upload custom fonts. Now, the way that you will get to this feature is essentially by going to Brand Kit and clicking on this, and then you're gonna go over to the section where it says Uploaded Fonts. Now, as you can see, guys, there are quite a few fonts that I have uploaded for various projects that I have done in the past when it comes to branding and all of that kinds of stuff. So one of the questions that you may have is, well, why would I even want to upload, you know, um, custom fonts? Well, it, it depends. It depends on if you want to use a font perhaps that you found or a font that you've um, purchased from maybe Creative Market to kind of spice up your graphics, something that's a little bit different, something that is custom to your brand. And so that would be some good reasons to upload custom fonts in Canva. So anywho, what I'm gonna do is show you how this is done. Now, the first thing that you want to do, guys, is I'm gonna pop over and go to a free website that you can go to and try out. Again, you have to have Canva Pro in order to do this, but one of the free websites that is available to go and download custom fonts or free custom fonts, uh, fonts from is called Font squirrel.com now as you can see these are some of the different fonts that you will get access to I love this Alex brush font um, they have a ton of them in here some of them are already actually I'm sure uploaded in Canva and some of them are not so for example if you wanted to look for different types of fonts what you can do is come over to where it says find fonts down um, underneath the font list section and it's going to give you some different type of fonts that you can get access to. I personally like to mix uh, serif fonts with different script fonts and also handwritten fonts or hand-drawn fonts is what they have here. Uh, I just absolutely love the way this looks. I'm going to go ahead and click on hand-drawn so you can kind of get an idea of what I'm talking about. So as you can see, these are some examples of the different hand-drawn fonts that they have available for you to download and use. And I just think that some of these are so cute and I just love the way that you can take these different fonts and just dress up you know, your branding and things like that, right? So say for example, I wanted to use this uh, Christie uh, font right here, okay? So what you would do is you would go ahead over here to the right where it says download TTF, which is true type form, okay? I'm gonna click to download this font. Now, what's gonna happen is it's going to come to me as a zip file. So I'm going to go ahead and um, open this zip file okay and then I'm going to click on the christy.ttf uh, this christy.ttf um, icon right here I'm gonna say I want to extract this to my desktop and then I'm gonna click OK okay so now this true type font should be extracted to my desktop as you can see here is the actual font now the next thing that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pop back over into Canva Pro and then I'm gonna go down to the section that says upload a font. I'm gonna upload this font into Canva Pro. I'm gonna to navigate to my desktop. I'm gonna select the font and then I'm gonna click open. 
and I'm gonna it's gonna ask you please confirm the following by uploading uh, my own custom font I acknowledge that I own Christie TTF or had the right to use it for my intent intended purposes and it should be good to go but let's just check it out and let's see what happens here because it should be a free font according to font squirrel so it is so as you can see Christy has been uploaded so yay so there we go now the last thing that I'm gonna do is just show you how you can apply the Christy font to a design so I'm gonna go to create a design and uh, maybe I want to create a logo so let's go to logos and let's just put the Christy um, um, the text into a logo really quickly to see how it's gonna look so maybe I wanted to use this as a logo design and instead of using this steeple, um, sorry, not steeple, but instead of using this font, the Dr. Sugiyama, I think I may be butchering that, but that's okay. But instead of using this font, maybe I wanted to use the Christie font for my logo, right? So what you can do, guys, is you would come over here, and then you're going to go down to the section in Canva Pro that says Uploaded Fonts. And it's going to actually list out all of the different fonts that you've uploaded. Here's the Christie font. And I actually think that looks pretty cool. <laughs> I really love this font. I think that's super cute. And so what I could potentially do here for my logo is maybe I would add a little element. I love flowers, hearts, all that kinds of stuff. Or um, maybe you can do something like uh, clothes. You can type in clothes to see if something comes up. Um, here's a free little icon that I could potentially add to this. I think this is really cute. So maybe if you were doing like a baby clothing brand or something like that, you can just add a little icon there, you know, just to kind of show that. And then I would probably make this into the pink here. So you see how cute that is, guys? That's in a matter of like minutes, right? With this different font, with that little um, icon there for the logo, and then the bottom text. And then once you're done, of course, um, in order to print out this, a logo and I can actually bring this down a little bit more and make it a little bit smaller okay but I think that's actually pretty cute so once you're done with this what you can do is come over to the right to click download now because this is a, um, a PN I'm sorry a logo you always want to make sure that the font type or not the font type but the graphic type that you download is going to be a PNG file meaning that once you select transparent image is going to get rid of all of the of this color in the background and that's what you want right with your logo you want it to be a transparent image so I'm finished with that and so um, they have here we can make this a little bit bigger so I'm gonna make the logo size to a thousand by thousand just to make sure that it comes out big enough so when you compress it that it's gonna look pretty good so now I'm going to go ahead and click download and I'm just interested in seeing how this is going to turn out. Okay, so let's see what we get. Drum roll. Dun, 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 dun. And my computer is running kind of slow, so bear with me, guys. <laughs> ah, okay, awesome. So I think this looks really cute. Um, I think this is this is really, really cute. Like I said, I love the pink. I love the white. I love the, you know, the pink at the bottom. The fonts look pretty good together. I love this hand-drawn font called Christy. Again, I downloaded it from Font, font Squirrel. So I just wanted to show you guys how easy it is to create a logo in Canva, how to upload the logo, or not upload the logo, but upload the fonts um, and all that kinds of stuff. So uh, yeah, I just wanted to show you guys how this works okay so anywho um i'd love to know what you guys think about this have you or are you using canva pro if you are using canva pro have you uploaded fonts and applied them to your different you know your, your designs and branding or if you're ready to use canva pro did you even know that this was an option please drop me a line below and let me know what you think also please share this video and also be sure to, to subscribe to the your she geeks channel guys because i am going to have a lot more content coming your way i have some great stuff planned out for you guys i'm super excited for it so thanks for watching have a great day and go forth and be awesome with canva okay take care guys bye